I always tell tell my friends, especially who who say, ah, I, I'll do it later. I don't have the time. I always say, even if you just do twenty minutes, something yeah. is usually when it comes to physical fitness always better than nothing. Totally Unless agree. you're only on two or three hours of sleep and you're trying to go run five miles and break your your records, just getting the blood moving a little bit, getting some oxygenation going, it usually improves your mood, gives you energy, and then it's just good for you in the long term. And you're someone who, you're up pretty early, and you work long hours, you work very hard when you work. Did you find that it was much easier just to start the day with that as opposed to trying to do that at the end of the day when you're exhausted? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, 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 found, yeah, I found that waking up, let's say, so I used to wake up at, let's say, 6, 6, 6, 15, 6, 30 to get to the OR and start cases by 7, 7, 15. So now I've said, okay, if I can just wake up an hour earlier, you know, my alarm goes off at five, work out for an hour, uh, and then start my day. It seems like that protocol for me really works well. So by, by the time, instead of just like walking into the OR, you know, sleepy and, you know, kind of a little out of it and taking a little bit, you know, to get going, you know, now I come in, I'm full go, ready to go, ready to do the day. And then and, uh, in the evening when I'm home, you know, I can be with my family, with them. You know, so if, if I worked out after work, I might be taking away from family time at 5 a.m. You know, nobody else is up in the house. It allows me to have my, my, my time and do what I need to do. And then you know, when I'm home after work, I, I can uh, you know, hang with the, with the family. So what's your routine? You get up at 5, you get it always a morning jog, morning run? Yeah, so it's either run, you know, bike, could be Peloton. Could be, uh, you know, some free weights, uh, you know, each day could be a little bit different, but uh, trying to get some sort of aerobic uh, with uh, some kind of, uh, you know, weight, uh, body weight or free weight uh, training. Yeah, I feel like it's really, really important, especially for someone who is as busy as you are, because most ophthalmologists, let's say, let's just call it like it is, are not doing the level of volume you're doing. They're not necessarily going to as many meetings as you're going to. So by virtue of that, they're not traveling as much. And I feel like constant travel is just, it's very tricky to manage that and still stay healthy. And, you know, I just think about, we just came back from Ecos. Yeah. You know, I got up at like 3.30 to take a 5 a.m. flight out of Cleveland. I got to Deer Valley <laughs> and I'd been up for so long and I was eating so many more calories and junk food than I usually would have in a normal day where I got a healthy amount of sleep. Right. was able to stick, you know, I didn't exercise once out there just by taking my athletic clothes just because it's go, go, go when you're at these meetings. Right. And to be able to intersperse that daily habit, I feel like is really, really important. Yeah. Did you, did you realize that when you were going to these meetings that you had to keep up with that? Or was that a consequence of some sort of uh, like health issues or anything you had? Yeah, I think um, it pr- I probably started to realize that I wasn't as good at certain things. Let's say um, skiing, for example. You know, it's always been a passion of mine, and, and you don't necessarily have to be in the best of shape to be uh, pretty good at, at skiing. But at least when you're younger. But what what I noticed is I started to get older. You know, I was having injuries or getting hurt or just wasn't as as good as I used to be. And I said, okay, I've, I've got to now make a concerted effort to stay in better shape, uh, full body, you know, core or whatever it might be to continue to do the activities that, that I enjoy or having fun doing. Uh, so it became more of a concerted effort, but I agree, you know, um, you know, sort of, uh, on the meeting aspect when you're on the road that it can, it can be quite challenging. You're, you're, you're on the road, you're having these amazing meals in these amazing locations, staying up late, um, and then have meetings early on in the morning. And so that can be hard to stay on track. You know, actually a friend of mine, uh, a friend of ours, uh, Nate Radcliffe, actually introduced me in, into this program that involves sort of um, an exercise, you know, philosophy that can be very mobile. It's using sort of uh, resistant bands, jump ropes, in particular jump ropes, uh, to be able to do, you know, quick workouts at high intensity, let's say within your hotel room. Even Nate would tell me, he's like, oh yeah, he's like, I'm not afraid. I'll, I'll pull out the jump rope in the middle of the airport, uh, airport terminal and just bang out 20 minutes. He's like, 20 minutes of jump rope can be done anywhere. And like, literally he's waiting for a plane and doing jump rope to get a good workout in. I haven't quite gone to that extreme, but I can see, you know, you know Nate, you know, he had gone through a kind of a similar transformation. I think he had been working hard, like letting, you know, uh, his exercise slip, gained a few pounds. And then I swear between, let's say, Ascaris and AAO, I noticed he had like lost 20 or 30 pounds. I'm like, Nate, what are you doing? He's like, oh, here's my program. 
This is what you got to do. And it's, you know, jump rope, resistant bands, and, and you know, you know th things like that, getting introduced to that was truly like life-changing. It allowed me to have a program that I could do on the road that I didn't have to have the local gym to go to because obviously it's not necessarily, not necessarily going to have that opportunity everywhere you're traveling. Yeah, you're so right. Everyone thinks you have to go to the gym. You have to, maybe you have to drive there. You have to yeah. mentally prepare for entering the gym. And then if you're by yourself and you don't have, let's say, a training buddy or partner to push you, you, you have to internally motivate yourself to commit to that work. Whereas for some people, it's just easier to just stay at home and, and do something or just yeah. do calisthenics or right. just use your body weight to provide some resistance. So truly exercise is one of the things in life where it's like you, you don't need anything else apart from your physical human body. And as long as you're fortunate to be healthy enough and not yeah. debilitated, there's really no excuses for right. not <laughs> being able to do it.